This is Click for Biology, addressing syllabus statement 3.15. This will be 3.15c, as we are concentrating on the solvent properties of water. So we've already seen in 3.14 the uh, concept of hydrogen bonds in water. So we're going to apply this to the concept of uh, solubility. So of course if we have a solution, a solution is made up of a of solute dissolved in solvent. So here we're discussing water as the solvent indeed water as the solvent of life. The chemistry of life takes place in water and the solubility of water makes this possible. So let's look at this phenomenon. In the image here we have at the centre a sodium ion and the large single charge here is sufficient to attract water molecules around the sodium ion. So the positive charge attracts the slightly negative dipole of the water and we have hydrogen bonding here. Now as the image shows this actually results in a shell or a cloud of water molecules forming around the sodium. Hydrogen bond to the real hydrogen here, like this, and in fact this organization of the water molecules results in other shells, consecutive concentric shells of water molecules, also forming outside this, but on a second level to the shell here, slightly negative hydrogen bonding, oxygen here, that's a water molecule, hydrogen bonding, and so we have one shell, two shells, three shells, and this extends outwards and outwards. But the important thing to notice is that the ion, the sodium ion, has been isolated by the cloud of water molecules around it. This is what we mean by dissolving this is what we mean by the property of being a solvent. In the next image we're looking at a number of ions and how the water molecules are forming clouds around them isolating one ion from another. What we're looking at here is the ion this particular ion here has dissolved in the water. So we're looking at a, an image of a solution. One of the interesting properties of solutions is that the organization of water into these shells reduces the kinetic energy of the water molecules. Concentrated solutions have very much reduced kinetic energy of water molecules. This is an excellent access point for the understanding of the process of osmosis.